Once upon a time, there was a little girl who was loved by everyone. Her grandmother loved her most of all. For her birthday, her grandmother gave her a gorgeous little black velvet cloak. She got it cheap at St Vinnie's by pretending she was on the doll. Little Black Riding Hood liked the cloak so much that she wore it all the time. And as such, she was named Hoodie. H-O-O-D-I-E, Hoodie. Hoodie's parents lived in a caravan park near the Dandenongs. Her father, a lazy son of a bitch, was a semi-retired timber worker who smoked pot all day in the woods. Another inhabitant of the woods, one more sneaky and snarky than all the others, was the wolf. One day, her mother asked Hoodie to take some lamingtons to Granny as she was feeling unwell. She warned her daughter not to stray from the path. Because Hoodie was a rebellious, cross goth 13 year old, as soon as she got into the woods where Granny lived, she ignored her mother's advice and decided to take a shortcut. Within minutes, she came across the lecherous old wolf lifting his leg on a tree. She was a pretty streetwise little girl and knew what a wicked beast he was. But she wasn't afraid of him. Hey, cutie. Whoa, what are you doing in the woods? Going to my grandmother's house. And I'll uh, say, uh, what is that you're c- carrying, little girl? to make me rich granny sign over her house to be greedy, money-hungry parents. She won Keno last month, and they can't wait to get their hands on all the money. Oh, uh, say, uh, little girl, where does your g- granny live there, are uh, you spree thing? Usually at the local RSL club, but the poker room is closed for grandos, so she's home in the woods today. Oh, how young and... And as she looks, she, she tastes even b- b- better than the grandmama. If I'm uh, very cool, I'm going to get both of them. <laughs> they walked on together, swapping ringtones via Bluetooth, when the wolf stopped and said, Ah, uh, have a g- go at these uh, wildflowers. Ah, <laughs> uh, b- Bad g- g- granny will be stoked if you pick a bone for her. Yeah, that would be totally sick. While Hoodie was preoccupied with picking wildflowers, the lecherous old wolf used the chance to sneak off to the grandmama's house and knock on the door. Who's there? Croat granny. Piss off, I'm busy. Oh, oh, oh. It's ho- Hoodie, granny. With some, ah, uh, c- cake for you. Come in, sweetheart. I'm watching the new Manpower DVD. You'll love it. The wolf opened the door, jumped inside, tied Granny up and locked her in the wardrobe for later. Granny peered through the crack in the door and said lewdly, Oh, oh, oh. I thought the Swingers Night was next week. Oh, but soon as you're here... Quick as a flash, the wolf jumped into the grandmother's bed with a nightcap on. Meanwhile, another knock came from the front door. Good morning, Gran. Called Hoodie, but there was no reply. With the door ajar, she walked in over to Granny's bed. What big ears you have, Granny? Ah, all the better to hear you with. What big eyes you have? Ah. All the b- better to see you with. I'm not blind. You make one hell of an ugly woman, and that top lip is a nad's nightmare, and your ears are hanging down like two dried pawpaws. Where's my granny, you dirty old wolf? Then Hoodie heard a muffled voice from the wardrobe. Don't worry about me, dear. I'm just slipping into something more comfy for my friend. Then the door crashed open, and in bounded Hoodie's parents. Yeehaw! Great balls fire. Mum, Dad, Granny's been on that horny goat weed again. Come out of there, Granny. Jerry Springer has responded to your litter and he wants you on his show. Granny jumped out of the wardrobe and the room fell quiet. Very, very quiet. Because Granny was wearing a rubber suit 
with a built-in hand-carved ivory sex aid. I love Jerry Springer, responded Granny. Then she turned to the wolf and asked, I like a man who doesn't wax his body hair. Tell me, are you a good boy? Okay, okay, now let me see if I got this right. The wolf moved in with the grandmother and they started a relationship? <laughs>